Hey Cancers, welcome to your February general reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always guys, so go ahead and check out the description box. You can find what the name of the decks of cards I use in all the videos in the description box as well there. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the different types of readings I post each month. Okay, let's see what we have going on for you guys. Ooh, commitment here. Okay, so if you're not in a committed relationship, um, one is coming here, okay? Seems like it was destined, it was written, um, before now that you're about to enter into a committed relationship. If you're already in a committed relationship, I feel like it's a renewing of valves or renewing of love here. Um, somebody recognizing um, your dedication, your love here, um, how much you do for them. I feel like um, your energy will be very quiet during this time, okay? And as the moon, it you know, as it goes into Pisces, I feel like you'll become quite dreamy and um, lovey and you could be um, benefiting from romantic novels or um, writing romantic novels. I hope somebody writes you guys an old-fashioned love letter. That would just be beautiful. Or is that just me? <laughs> um, but yeah, I see like... Um, you know, very dreamy energy, very quiet and feminine energy doesn't mean, um, you know, just female. It just means the energy is very soft. The waterfall here, I feel like, look at this expressing of emotion, um, somebody expressing their love to you here. I do hope, like I say, an old fashioned love letter um, because I want one. I'm not a cancer, but I do want one. Um, <laughs> So yes, write me a love letter, guys. Um, I just think it's just so beautiful, isn't it? Maybe I'm old-fashioned, I don't know. Probably from one of my previous lives, I was again, you know, torn away from my lover and we had to write. <laughs> but I see somebody letting out their feelings here. So it's either you or somebody's letting out their feelings for you here and letting you know that, you know, hey, I like you. Um, you must like them back because I see you guys getting into a committed relationship. Okay, the Queen of Keys. Okay, so here she is with a big smile on her face. She's definitely expecting somebody here. So it's either you know the person's on their way to you after maybe a long journey. Like I said, maybe your husband or wife, they work away. And they just can't wait to see you here. If you're single, this is somebody new coming in, okay? Um, I feel like if you're used to putting everybody else's wants and needs before your own, this is somebody who's going to take care of you here, okay? It it's, could even be somebody like you're introducing to the family or something like that. So maybe, you know, you're taking your relationship to the next level, because uh, the queen, she's in the castle, the king of keys, he's on his horse and he's on his way here. And she's smiling and he's smiling, but it's like maybe somebody you're introducing to your family, bringing them home. The journey. <laughs> yeah, you've taken a long path to get here, right? But it's all worth it, like I've explained this card before. Um, you know, every part of the journey is all as important as the destination if not more okay because we have you know these people unloading um the boat we have people bringing new things in people lo uh, loading this boat for these boats to go out so every single part of it you know um every single detail is important here i'm feeling uh, I do feel like um, you picturing romantic scenarios and things coming to you. Um, maybe, okay, I'm going to go buy some new clothes. I'm going to book a romantic table for two. Um, there's all this planning that leads to this, you know, this get together, this coming together. So it could be 
um, even a blind date because we can't see who she's waiting for. I know, um, the king of keys, but we can't see in the picture who she's waiting for. So somebody's making a lot of plans to um, make you happy here. Put, um, look after your needs for a change. And that's, that's beautiful. I think everybody needs that or wants that at least, okay? Um, this person, they may try and put you in some um scenarios or you know it may feel like oh this is out of my comfort zone but that's what you need okay um something out of the ordinary happening don't hesitate or you know retreat um you know the energy sort of encouraging you to go along with this person these plans i i feel like you know um this person or you have a great imagination and is planning something quite spectacular that you know leads to this expressing so it could be somebody like lining up like say a dinner and then you know taking you to see um something beautiful a romantic walk and then saying hi do you do, do you want us to be in a committed relationship and i feel like you know with mars and uranus um That'll help you as well to come out of your shell. It'll help you to take chances and feel risky and, you know, things like that. Six of keys here, the increscent moon. This is good news on its way, some sort of celebration. I don't want to spoil it for somebody, but somebody's going to ask somebody else to marry them. But um, this is um, somebody, look again, we see all the little details being planned and put together and we see first there was a drawing and then it was here and then, you know, um, but this is good news, a celebration coming, okay? It can even be like maybe like birthday parties or something like that you're going to attend or some sort of party or maybe an engagement party. Something um, good is on its way. Somebody's going to express their love to you. It's just um, you're at that stage now, okay? Somebody's coming forward with commitment. Um, the King of Scrolls here... I feel like with it reversed, you have no knowledge of this going on. And this is why she's like romantically surprised. It's like all put on her here at once. But I think it's like a nice surprise. I hate surprises. Even good ones. So I can imagine some people as well like, I don't like surprises. Um, this might make you feel out of your comfort zone here with him being reversed. Not having the knowledge of when this is going to happen, where it's going to happen. I'm a Scorpio, so, you know, we are control freaks, blame us. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I see, like, maybe it being a surprise, you not having knowledge um, that this is coming or that this person even wants to date you. Um, it's kind of, maybe a blind date for some, and you've just got to take the chance. It's like maybe friends set you up and say, remember that guy from the party? Yeah, he wants to date you. And you're like, who? I don't even remember anybody liking me um so yeah i see that sort of thing happening here but good news look at this treasure um so don't let indecision hold you back guys okay it's no time to hesitate it's no time to be um saying well i've tried love before it didn't work out i ended up like um, this all of a mess you know all of my possessions being taken from me in a divorce or something here um it's not my, don't let indecision hold you back, okay? Let your imagination elevate you. Don't let it run away with you that you don't want to try love again, you know? It's a great time for you to be you and allow that romantic energy to flow because in Pisces season, you know, um, I think that's what sort of will really turn it around for you Um the fact that you can be very dreamy and Pisces season is very dreamy. So I feel like you'll manifest this beautiful romantic scenario. It's like you're manifesting what you've always wanted. So why would you hold back just because you don't know it's coming? You know, we don't know most things in life are coming until they're here. So don't worry about it. Look at this. And we've had this a lot today, the treasure and the Ark of the Covenant here. So it's like, I hope you guys know what this is because it's one of my favourite things to learn about 
but with it being card 11 there it's like this higher love this um it's like sent from god this so i feel like what you're looking for the treasure is going to be like a soulmate somebody who's sent um by the divine here so don't feel like maybe maybe you don't know them yet and maybe you're expecting an ex or something and um you turn away somebody new because you're looking for love here. Maybe even in the wrong place. Okay, I just said that to Pisces. <clears throat> but don't turn around or don't hesitate when love presents itself. I feel like you'll be quite pleasantly surprised. Yeah, look at this. Archangel Gabriel's here to say, you know... um, there's unity coming here. Three, it's about, you know, unity. They're coming together. Um, so I feel like you're about to meet here somebody quite divine. You could be seeing 113 um, or, you know, different variations of this, like 331, um, 131, things like that. If you're seeing things like that, this person is um, on their way to you. They're being divinely guided to you. You don't need to see it for it to be happening, right? You don't need to see the wind to know it's there. But I feel like you're getting sent very divine messages. Um, and the key is not to think, well, where is this person? How long? When? Where? You know, it's about to, okay, I know they're coming. I'll prepare myself, basically. You know, it's all part of the journey. It's like... It's like you're both on this path to bump into each other, I feel, with this journey card. I'm seeing you've both been on a difficult journey here, but you're making your way towards each other. And that is the Five of Forces. And we had this, um, I think it was Aries who got it upright as well um, with the Summer card. So maybe um, a fire sign you're going to be dealing with here. Everyone else got it the winter side. And I think even in the soulmate read, it was the winter side. But Aries and Cancer, you've both got it um, the summer side up. So somebody warming up to you, beautiful things happening, you know, um, like a summer romance and things like that. So definitely a more positive energy for you. A time where things will be abundant, where love will be abundant, you know, and beautiful like summer walks and summer nights and things like that the more you imagine or let's say you're reading a book or writing a book this helps you to um dramatically increase the odds of creating this in your future because you're manifesting right so this transit encourages you to take a risk take a chance on love okay um even if it seems too good to be true jump good luck guys